Hi everyone, it's Mike and in today's video we're going to cover the topic of tapping a tree for sap. Now this can be done with various trees, birch and maple to name a few. So this has been done for thousands of years in the early part of spring, usually within the UK it's the first couple of weeks of March, however that can run over um, either way dependent on how the weather is panning out and how the seasons are panning out in that year. Now the seasons and the weather can also dictate how much sap you get on the day you choose to do it. So you're best to pick a fairly warm day if you can, but obviously you can't always do so. So the method I like to use is a less invasive method than say drilling part of the tree that can obviously harbour bacteria more than the method I use however I'm not saying it's a bad method as you do yield a lot more and if done properly the tree will be perfectly fine for many many years to come so what I'll do is I'm going to find a birch tree within this big birch coppice as such here and we'll set to work so everyone, as you can see here, I've got a decent sized birch tree. Now first of all, we don't want to use a young birch tree, as to be honest with you, this is what keeps the tree alive. So it's the final boost, is the sap. It's the final boost to get the leaves ready for spring and to start taking in the energy again and building the tree up through the seasons so that it can last through the autumn and winter months again. So as I say, we don't want to use a, a young birch tree. We want a birch tree that's had a, a fair few years on it, even though with this method, we're only going to take maybe a couple of hundred mil of sap, if that. So what I need now is I need to carve myself a little spout so that I can run the sap down into my little cup. So that's what I'll do now guys. So guys what I want is I want a effectively flattened piece of stick. Now I like to use birch for this because I believe if you keep the same woods and you're less likely to introduce different bacteria. Some trees will be able to deal with other bacteria better than say birch will. So I like to just keep them the same. Makes more sense to me. So we're just cleaning this off so any of the bark needs to come off as that can harbour bacteria as I'm sure you're all aware. So we don't want to introduce bacteria to the tree even though the tree will flush the wound as such itself at some point. Do is just make a couple of cuts there and that's my spout so it just needs to be a flattened piece of wood. Doesn't matter how thin it is the majority of the way down just at the top it needs to be nice and thin where it goes in the tree to promote the sap to drip down. So what we do for this is we take our knife at a sharp angle and hit it on the butt of the knife straight into the tree. Like so. Now what you should see is it start dripping down the tree there. Like so. And what we need to do is get our spout in fairly quickly and try and encourage it to drip down. So 
So as you can see the sap is now flowing into my little cup down here and what we'll do is we'll give it about an hour or an hour and a half to just sit there and let some sap drip in and then we'll come back and have a nice spring tonic. So everyone we're back at the tree and if I tilt the cup there you might be able to see there's a load of sap in there so gonna have a, a nice drink <sighs> very refreshing guys Now we need to do our bit with the tree. So we've pulled our little plug out and all we need to do is push the wounds down hard. And all that'll do is that'll help seal the wound up. And what the tree will now do is flush it with sap and then seal it within a couple of hours to maybe a day. So the tree has a, a mechanism like your body does to heal its wounds. So it's a very, very effective and less invasive way of tapping the birch tree. Everyone, before I go home, just thought I'd tell you a couple of uses of the birch sap. So you can drink it as a nice spring tonic. Very, very refreshing, very high in nutrients and gives you a good boost of sugar levels and gets your body up and running back to that spring kind of feeling. You can also boil it down to make a syrup, much like you would, say, maple syrup. And you can even use it to make a, an ice cube to pop in a nice spirit or liqueur. Other than that, guys, birch sap has been shown to have various healing properties for various different bodily problems. <clears throat> and also just in general it's a great woodsman's drink so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've learned something from it and I hope it's shown you that you don't have to be as invasive if you just want a quick drink while you're out in the woods for a couple of hours scouting about anyway guys thank you for watching I really appreciate it please check the links below for my Facebook website and Instagram pages and please give me a like and a comment if you have any suggestions or any questions thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one very very soon take care